How are we doing? Fox Pack again. What you're listening to there is the bass we're going to be making today. This was a request. It was by somebody called Sven Botha, or Botta, I hope I pronounced that right. It's for this Darth and Vader track called The Deep Side. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to this track if you would like to compare the sound to the original. The bass comes in at about 1 minute 9 seconds. Uh, I'm going to hold my hand up and say it's not perfect. Um, took me ages to get to this point very very fine a fine line to get it sound in the way I did um, it's two separate layers uh, I'll be t teaching you how to make the top layer which is this main sound which is this the bottom layer um, it's a classic sort of Brazilian kick there's almost like a kick click that they layer over their bases I've called this one Brazilian Punch. Uh, there's going to be three or four of these sort of punchy little clicks in the pack when it's released. Keep an eye out for it. But yeah, for now, we're going to be going over this patch. Um, I will say subscribe quickly. Please subscribe if you enjoy this or my any of my other tutorials. Yeah, stay tuned for the release of this Deep House Global pack when it is done. So yeah, we will quickly initialize this preset. And I'll go through it step by step and show you how I made it. So two octaves down for the first oscillator one octave down sorry for oscillator one keep it on a saw wave two voices a unison I'm gonna tell you the exact increments for these it's something I don't generally do but it was very very specific and very fine for me to get it sounding as close as I could detune was 0.06 oscillator B is the original saw wave that it comes on as standard again um, <clears throat> This one had two voices in unison. Detune was on 0.11 this time. Down two octaves. Now, the bend mode I chose for this was pulse width modulation. The reason for that is I wanted it to sound a little bit thinner than the original saw wave that it came, but not so thin that it was an octave down. So I pushed it round to about 64%. Uh, we're going to be doing some FM with this later on just to add a macro so you can change the sound up a bit. The sub oscillator, I'll turn it on, pitch it down two octaves, keep all the volumes where they come as standard, so it is what it is. Pull the master gain down to about 58%. Because we are going to drive the filter in a minute. So the filter I chose was an MG Low 24, which is quite a steep curve. Um, uh, a, B and the sub are all going into the filter so make sure A, B and S those little boxes are highlighted blue starting point for the car 47 hertz this is just right at the bottom end of what you can hear so real sub territory when it's closed resonance on zero the fat I just pushed in ever so slightly and the drive this drives the signal back into the filter which gives the appearance of more gain that's why I pulled the volume down on the master this goes to 36%. Also, it adds a bit of fuzz. Which you're not going to hear for now because the filter is quite closed. As usual, everything is done by controlling a filter with an envelope. Uh, the main amp envelope needs to be set up to start with 0.1 milliseconds of attack, so it's virtually instant. No sustain. 66.3 milliseconds of decay and really quite a linear curve. Again, you're not really going to hear nothing until we use envelope 2 to push the filter open. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Envelope 2, drag it, drop it on the cutoff. Destination amount wasn't all the way around. It was around to about 70%. Now, without any sustain, the decay is going to control how long it takes for the filter to close off again. So with a zero attack or 0.5 milliseconds of attack, it's going to open pretty much instantly. So it's going to open all the way around to this point here. The decay then tells you how long it's going to take for it to close off again. So, I had it on 381 milliseconds and then the curve. I could definitely tell that the sound, the original sound was made out of saw waves, but it sounded really creamy and silky. I'm thinking there was a lot of 
external processing afterwards but this is as close as i could get with the with serum or with any synth i did try it with massive but this is as close as i could get so that's virtually the basis for the sound i didn't do anything in the effects section the only thing i did do is mapped velocity to global amp which is the volume say so it's a bipolar so it goes both way and put it on put full that way with the um you can see the velocity mapping i've got inside this midi clip some of these notes are really quiet but that's what it sounded like in the original almost gives it like a pumping effect you're just hearing the real quiet version of the the second notes if you like the ones that are on beat You can hear the difference gives it a bit of swing uh, and allows you to control the amp with velocity so that is it that is honestly it, it looks quite simple but it's very fine line choosing the starting point of the cutoff the amount of modulation destination and the amount of decay to get it sounding as plucky and as as creamy as what the original one did so it's not perfect but very very close so that's virtually the tutorial done um, I'll quickly show you the second layer Uh, I won't be giving this patch away as per all of these sounds now they will be going in my new global deep house pack when it is released very soon uh, yeah this is the second layer this is the um, Brazilian bass punch if you like it's virtually just the click of a kick that I've made using some basic wave shapes again one of them is the acid one and one of them is the basic wave shapes so I've got this sync window so you can crank the reso up make it sound a little bit more hollow yeah that layered with the original sound gave us not with the original sound that layered with the the sound that I've just shown you how to make gave us the overall sound that was in the track yep yeah, really pleased with this so it was a bit of a ball ache took me quite a while but yeah here it is again Should have spent a bit more time on mixing the drums. But yeah, anyway, you get the gist. This was Darth and Vader, and the track was called The Deep Side. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please subscribe. Get your requests into my Facebook page as a direct message. Thank you very much. Cheers.